Hello everyone, good evening. And I hope we had a great time today. Um, if you can hear me, just send a message on the chat room so I can see that I'm not, I'm not talking to self. Um, I'm delighted to be here and um, I hope we are also enjoying this class together. All right, uh, we welcome everyone. Now, um, yesterday we, we started with reading and um, I, I believe that we all understood um, the stuff we discussed yesterday. Um, I don't know whether there are questions that are, uh, are freezing from the um, class of yesterday, but from what I saw, from the few assignments I was submitted, I observed that quite a number of people, this is, we are welcome, please, quite a number of people um, are having above 30. Yeah, yeah. So I want to know, is it that everyone, um, everyone, um, you know, just got it easy? Was it that simple? Excuse me, I was having, a lot of people are getting above, above 30, 35, 37 in the reading test. So I, I, I like to know our thoughts about the assignment. Was it so, in, was it that, that easy? You know, okay, someone said it's got 24. Okay, okay. Please, you may post your skull here too. And thank everyone for, for, for responding. Please, you may post your score here, okay? And then maybe share your experience. What, what does it look like? What did the uh, attempt you, the, 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 the approach, you're trying to apply to the question? What does it look like? Um, let's put our experience here. And um, let's see how, how, how it looks like. I want to look, I want to look, I want to look. Okay. I like to see um, um, the stuff that we went through. What 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 was it like? So I want to know. I, I want to know. Okay. So let's see. I, I'm, I, I think I'm seeing some thoughts now. Someone said I lost track. Then somebody said um, true force not given. Okay, the truth of stumbling were quite tricky. Yeah, always that, that, that that's always the, the case. I expressed what you said about trying to follow the passage. Okay. No, lost track. Okay, someone said got 28. 28 is a very good score for, for a starter. If you start with 28, that means, you know, except if you, you used more than one hour, or 33 is a good score. Now, how many of us used more than one hour? Let's be sincere now. You used more than one hour. You, you, are, you used like two hours. <laughs> I, want, I, I want to know, I want to know um, those who probably went beyond the normal time. Okay. Today we are going to be dealing with, okay, I, I, the first session, I was able to, I was able to, I was able to answer questions from 13 in 12 minutes. Second was 17 minutes, but the last was in five minutes. Okay. How, how much is that? 17 plus 13, that's 30. Oh, that's a good one. That's that's a, that, that, that's a good trial. Okay. So can, can we have more? Let, let, let's have it coming in. See, let me tell you something. If you are not practicing what I'm saying, I'm only, I'm only acting movies every night to 10. <laughs> you get my point? <laughs> if you don't know what I'm saying, I'm only acting movies here. It's until you do what I say that we are we are making sense. That's the truth. And of course, I'm seeing some feedback here, which is good. I, 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 I like to know your experience from this stuff. Are you are you are you, are you able to do what I asked you to do? Like somebody said, I use 13 minutes first, 17 minutes next, 25 minutes last. Powerful, beautiful. That's a lovely one. That's a lovely one. Yes. I I I think I like that. And I'm going to be sharing something that is going to really help us with our time in the game today after the, after the um, discussion I have today. I want to talk on yes to not given and matching evidence. Yes to not given and matching evidence. Okay. All right. Somebody said you joined the link. That's good. And I, I, I hope it's clear. I think if you want to review what you said, just go to the link so that we don't waste time. All right. So now on um, dealing with yes to not given, yes to not given. It's a bit complex because 
Well, you can use laptop, no problem. It's a bit complex. I use 15 minutes, but I didn't use the five minutes to read the question because I was reading from the front. Okay, that's all right. So, um, so I'd like to start the lecture so we can keep it coming. Well, I'm going to start the lecture right now. But then, um, let's know that if you don't practice what, all, all, all what I'm saying, um, we are only doing movies here. I, I, I'm, I'm being an actor, and you're, 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 you're spectating until we practice that's when it's making it's going to make sense okay so now the, what is the difference between yes to not given and other reading very simple in other reading you are told to pick your you are, you are, you are told to pick your answer from the key i mean from from, from the quote from the passage you are only told pick yourself from the passage or pick the synonym of yourself from the passage that's all you are doing with, with, with other reading but in in Yes, no, not given. What you are told to do is to analyze the passage. You are told to analyze the passage. What you are told to analyze the passage is different from picking your answer. That's the difference. So there is a bit of analysis that takes place with yes, to not given that does not take place with other answers. In other answers, just pick your answer. You try and look for your answer, pick it and write it down. But in this particular case, you will need to analyze. And let me tell you the analysis. If your conditions analysis very, analysis very well, you will not have a lot of problems with yes to not given. The first analysis is you are told to look for the synonyms of the question in the passage. That's what your yes. Synonyms of the question. That is. What or uh, the question the, 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 the words in the question used that was similarly used in the passage or used with same words or different words but making the same meaning? All right, the second one is antonyms, that is the direct opposite of what happened in the question. So if the if the question said they fought, um, are they killed the man? The passage will say the man killed are they? Reverse contradiction antonyms or the question will say the man did not kill are they? Or the passage will say the man did not kill are they? It's going to be a total contraven contravening a total contradiction of what's in the question. Word and opposite. Why in the third one you will not find the question in the passage? So the, in in one situation, the question is not in the passage at all. In another situation, the question is in the passage, but opposite. So how do you now identify? That's the major problem. You use the nouns and the verbs, plus adjectives and adverbs. Those are the four keywords you can four, four keywords you can use. If you like the nouns and the verbs, you're able to locate the synonyms or similar words. That means you are already setting out your true and your yes. But by the time you look at a particular framework, a sentence, and you put the sentence in the passage, and it's telling you opposites of what happened. In the passage, how do you know it's opposite and it's not that it's not present? If it's opposite, they're going to be telling you the the the, the direct the 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 direct I mean inverse proportion of what of what's in the passage I mean, of what's in the question. Let me give an example. In the particular question that was asked, Michael Faraday was introduced to chemistry, I mean, to, to a particular chemistry lesson, or to, to a particular chemistry seminar by his chemistry teacher. No, 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 not no, Michael Faraday. What's the name of this man, sir? Um, Pekin or something, Pekin. Pekin was introduced to a seminar by, Michael, uh, by his chemistry teacher. And that seminar was handled by Michael Faraday. So the question now said, Michael Faraday introduced um, chemistry to Peking. Whereas in the question, 
it was the chemistry teacher that introduced Pekin to Michael Faraday. So you can say a reverse issue. That is the issue here. Now, if you are not if you are not exposed to questions that that actually shows the way these questions conflict other, and you are not used to trying to decipher them, even if I use my mouth to explain to you, you won't understand what I'm saying. So you will need to see lots of questions that ask this principle of contradiction for you to be able to um, differentiate them from each other. I, I, and that comes from practice. You will not be able to do that by what you are, by, by hearing me now, and then on the exam, you now say, okay, which one is opposite? <laughs> you will not find it. It's if you are able to have a number of practice sections with questions, that's when you can be able to identify the opposite and the, and the one that has synonyms. That is the issue about it. So what I would encourage is locate these questions. Once you locate the question, you highlight the keywords, pick the keywords, locate them in the passage. Then you don't have to look at the nouns that are used and the verbs are used. The nouns are present, okay? The nouns are present. It's, it's the same people are involved, but the action in the in the question is not the same action in the passage. It's like the action in the question is saying many people. In the passage, they're saying few people. Or the action in the question is saying the 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 um, they went to the market. In the passage, they mentioned they and mentioned market, but this is that they 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 didn't go to the market. So the two of the two issues came up, but there was a ab abject contradiction that is not. And that is false. That is, it's a lie. So let me just put this way: when you find out that the question, the passage is, I mean, the question is telling you what the passage um, did not do, or what the, or the, or the, passage, the, the question is not telling you what the passage did, and the individuals that are involved are the same. The individuals are present, but the actions are contradictory. That is false. Now, when you now don't find either the individuals or the actions at all. An example, um, the passage is saying, animals that were breeded in Africa came all came from Nigeria. And then the question now said, animals breeded in Africa came from Nigeria and they all traveled to Jamaica. And you say, ah. Jamaica. I am looking for Jamaica in the passage. You do not see Jamaica. Travel. You didn't see travel. That's what not given. So they will just add a compartment to that to that particular um, 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 statement that you will not be able to validate in the passage. It's so simple to see. In fact, it's the most simple. It's the simplest. But you won't be able to validate it. They will say the the the, the Congress people criticized American soldiers after they went to the moon. When you get when you get to the past, you see that they went to the moon truly, truly. Aloma. Okay. So Aloma. looking for Aloma. The, ben. We, the point of Aloma. criticism. Ben. When you look for criticism tire, <laughs> you know see that's the issue. You have to come back and apologize for even searching for it. And that is the principle about not given. You will not find a specific you will not find it. So what, you, you should you should now get this point clearly so that you are not going to miss misinterpret or, or, or mistaken it. Once you are not able to find a compartment of the question totally, I mean the other part is totally missing in the passage. It is what not given. It's not a matter of contradiction. In the in the, in the presentation, you are fighting about it. This passage said he went home. The question said. He, was, he stayed back in the old state. But this one said he went home, stayed back in the old state. That means he didn't go home. So that's a contradiction. The, the factor there is the person that was involved. But the issue of going home and stay back in the old state is contradictory. Somebody said, ah, but it is, it, um, um, it, it, the, the home was not mentioned in the passage, yes. But the factor, the fact was that there was an intent around home because he was the factor involved. Hostel was actually the place he was. Home was an option for him to go, but he didn't go. And they, and they, and they, also, they, they, they made 
they, they, they relate to the fact that he actually was in the hostel and he wanted to go or, or, or he went home. So there is a contradiction of action there. But where the issue of the passage is not contradicted in the question, but they only added a new action to the question that was not in the passage. The issue in the passage is not contradicted in the question, but they only added a new action. Not right what I just said now. That is a very key way to identify. When the issue in the passage is not contradicted in the question, but they only add there. So in, in this case, the question is adding a new activity that was not present. But in no, in, in, in no the, 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 the passage is having something that the question is contradicting. Or the question is speaking against or speaking an opposite of. I'd like you to note it carefully and try to, you know, when analyzing, try to look intensely this issue that is in this question is it in the passage if yes is this question contradicting is this question saying a opposite of it if yes that is no if it is not in the passage at all that is not given if it's in the passage and the question is speaking the opposite did you get me, please? It is in please the passage. Come again. Saying the opposite. Is this issue is in the passage? It's located. Please in the come again, sir. All right. I said that in no, the issue is in the passage. The the statement happened in the passage, but the question is speaking a contrary view of that particular action or that particular person. Not adding to it. It's only saying the opposite of what happened in the passage. But in not given, the passage is, I mean, the question is adding a view that did not occur in the passage at all. So what the issue about not giving is that you will not even see that matter in the passage at all. You will not see it there. You will be looking for it. But in, in, in no, you will be there. But the question will be denying it. Like, like removing from it. Like saying, like, like saying the opposite of it. Or like, 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 like giving, a, I mean, giving an exaggerated view of it. Maybe the person said few people. The question has said many people. That's a contrary opinion. The, the, the people is in the passage, but the, the, the number of people is the contrary view. So be intentional about getting what I'm saying, because if you, if you get that question, and I want to say something quickly, if I go to uh, March Edens, hmm. you need to bombard reading with an aggression and a force of strategy. What do I mean? You are intentional about what you plan to do. You are not moved by the way the passage is looking at you. You know, sometimes you see some passage, you are, you are, you are, you are already feeling scared. You see, if I mean, if if you if you shake because of the pressure of the way the passage is looking at you, and then you are already, hey, what's this? You are already defeated that day. But you 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 pick a question. You say, look here, I want to look at the this part of the question. That is in the passage. You pick the keywords. You go to the passage, and you begin to look for it from maybe the first paragraph. Okay, this is the this is the word. What did they say here? They said this, this, that. Okay, is that the word they put in the passage? Yes. But this one that they are saying is like it's not the exact way. So what are they saying? You go back and then you are looking at it. Okay, they are saying something like opposite. Okay, okay. And what are they putting? And you now go back, but you said that what they are saying was actually like. Similar to my body, it was like a negative perspective. Let me give you let, let me give you a, a, a no a, a no scenario. Look at this one. Come on. Are we together, please? Now they said he nearly he nearly saw 
the transition of the moon. Write it down. That's the that's in the passage. He nearly saw the transition in the in the moon of the moon. Sorry. Then in the passage, you now saw he saw the transition of the moon. Let me see. Did it see it? No. He saw like you he, he saw it. This one is not nearly now. He actually saw it. Yes, now, can we talk now? The E was there, so was there, but there was a factor that was contradictory there. Nearly. N nearly. 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 Okay. nearly. And that nearly means he no... did not see it. He did not see it, yes. Yep. So if we now ask you, did he see the transition of the moon? What would what, 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 what you answer? No. No. no, that's the answer. That's the answer of the person. No. no, the answer is no. No. Exactly. It's, it's, it's like the way you will normally ask a question, and that means the that means it's what? It's, it's false. It's not true. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Yes. So the issue about moon transition E was about there was a factor that was missed that, that was actually fighting and conflicting each other. And that was what nearly. Now, if in this case, you, you, are, you, are, you, you said you saw the transition of the Jupiter. And the question, they said, you saw the transition of the moon. Yeah, you look for Jupiter, you didn't see Jupiter. <laughs> yeah, but they say it's moon that they say in the, question, in the passage. Not giving. So what would be your answer now? Not, Not giving. giving. That's simple. So that's just it. So, you see, if, if you have an intent of strategy, you just go there and say, this thing looks similar and it's not similar. It's not similar. It's a matter of just finding out what is in the question that is different from the passage. Is it that this question, this aspect of question is not in the passage at all? Or it's actually in the passage, but it's saying something opposite of the passage? So once, if, if, if you can get that one, getting synonyms is so easy. It's just like the other ones. Because of course, there are so, so many times that they will hide the answer in the question using synonyms for filling the gap and all, all the other ones. But in this situation, they may not do that. But you should know and you should get it clear. As you practice more, you get it more. That's the trick. You get to a point, what, you see that it's, I, I've seen yes, some, 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 some very beautiful ways they, they try to deceive us. Let me give you this one. Are you ready for this one? Yes. Let me just give you this one. Okay. The, the man, yeah, yeah, this one. Okay, no, no, not the man. Ameri I mean, uh, America sold cassava to Nigerian, to Nigerian, um, uh, uh, to, to, to Nigerian um, agriculture ministry. And it passed through Ivory Coast before leaving for Asia. I hope you wrote that down. Because I'm going to be I'm going to be trying us on something now. So why did I say who, who can remember that? American Every sold cassava to Nigerian yeah. ministry through Ivory Coast before leaving for Asia. Okay. Now I now put the question now. Before leaving for Asia, for, for Asia, Asia. For Asia. Okay. Now, here is the question. Here is the question. Cassava came through Ivory Coast from Asia. Cassava came through Ivory Coast, originally or, originate, originating from Asia. So now the question is, is it true? Is it false? Or is it not given? False. False. Okay. It's false. False. It's originated from America, not if. So there's a contradiction. And it's so simple. Can you see how simple it is? Because did cassava come from Asia? What will be your answer? 
No. Did, did cassava come from Asia? What would be your answer? No. No, no. No. But it came from America. America. Simple. Oh. Uh, simple. America. And I tell you the truth, it is that simple in all the questions. Sometimes they try to make it abstract. They I try to use some words to double. So what you don't find Asia, for example, if you don't find Asia in the question now, are you following me now? If Asia was not in the question, yes. it would have been not given. Yes. Why? That's true. Because there was no reference to Asia. If there's no room for, for, for controversy, Asia is not in the question. Do you get my point now? Yes, sir. If the person said cassava came from America through Ivory Coast, full stop. And the and the and the, I mean, the person said that. And the question now said cassava came from Asia. It's so easy. Am I correct? Yes, sir. You just say, well, nothing like Asia in the passage. Am I correct? And then uh, I was hearing quite some noise, so sorry for that. And you can you can move if you want to. Now you say uh, 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 I'm not seeing anything like Asia in the passage, so you can say not given. Simple. Given. So this is a very simple part that probably could become a delight of many people. You just be getting the whole mark four over four, seven over seven. Amen. Over six. You understand? That's what mock mock IS reading. You mock them. <laughs> you know, by getting everything. So um, I, 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 I think I've told a few people. In my second attempt of writing eyes, I got nine in, in reading. Nine. As somebody was saying, does that mean you got everything? I said, I don't know. But that is how easy you can nine. get reading. You can get as, as good as nine in reading. Nine. Because you can simply apply the yes. approach or, or the strategies and just clear it as, simple as, as simply as it is. Now let me go to uh, Martin Eddings, not to waste time. Now, matching Eddings will take your time. Matching Eddings or matching information. It will take your time. Okay. It will take your time. Don't you don't need to like <coughs> struggle about it. Your time is going to go. And so the best bet is do it last. Do it after okay. everything. Right. Save time for the cheap, cheap, cheap chin chins and and the um, sweets in front. All this feeling, the gap, the summer, summary. Those chin chin stuff. Just save time on that. Just do it as quickly as you can. Move, move, push it to one side. Then give more so that you can be able to devote more time for much changes. Why is it so? Now, if you do those stops early or first, you will be you will be able to familiarize yourself with the passage, so that you will not need to skim again. But if you insist that you want to do it first, then this is the approach you go you, you go by. You skim the passage. You skim the passage, that is, you read the first paragraph, then the first and last paragraph, last line of the second to the last paragraph, or second to the second last paragraph, and then, and then you read the last paragraph, and then you go to the questions. So when you get to the questions, you study the questions and clear the, I mean, note the ones that have been answered, and try to find out the strategy for that answer. If none is answered, you don't have a problem. But if one is answered, Try to find out the strategy for that one that was answered. Then you now go back to paragraph one. When you get to paragraph one, you read through paragraph one from the first line to the last line, and then you try to summarize it. Then you pick your summary. And then that maybe just a sentence, maybe what they're talking about, definition of terms. I'm talking about reasons for slavery, I'm talking about um, um, uh, factors behind so and so, I'm talking about the issues in Africa, I'm talking about uh, uh, labor markets in Germany or something. Just pick that word, then go through the, um, the, the list of headings that are there and pick the most, the closest. Is that right? You pick the closest to it, and then when you pick the closest to it, you move to the next uh, next one, and then you continue. Are you likely to get your answer in at the first attempt? No, it's not likely. And yes, it's likely. But do not be bugged. You don't have to be bothered about that. 
Just pick the one you think is closest and continue. All right? Go to the second paragraph, read through it, and try and summarize. Then go to the passage, look at the one that is closest to that, so your, your, your summary, maybe a word or two or summary, and then you pick it. Give us the third paragraph, read through the third paragraph, and you see it's taking time. So you, you may not be able to say, okay, let me go to the first. So I say, well, so I say that the first, the, I mean, the, the answer is located in the first, first sentence. That in, in the topic sentence, we bear the summary. Where? Uh, I, I, I will tell you this experience that happened, very painful and annoying. One of my students, we had, we used to have physical class together, but we were not able to really deal with reading. Uh, I mean, as a class, as we would have, have loved to. So I, I told them the way he was telling us, read newspaper, read books, read this, read that. He said, he said, so he said, he said. So he now went to read um, a particular YouTube video that said um, the first line is in the, and the first, the answer for watching this is in the first line. So he tried it for some questions and it was, it's just a magic. Wow, wow. Just, you just get everything. So he, out of his he said, I have found the secret for matching edges. I said, wow, what's the secret? He said, first line, first line. Oh, beautiful. Let's go. Yeah, this is good. So I, 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 I got it and I was like, okay, I will share it with my students too. <laughs> so when I, sh I shared it with my students and then we were going to do practice with the approach, <laughs> we got to over five. <laughs> Guys said, yeah, and just speaking, we tried that. We were, we almost, we nearly almost fainted on that question. Because this thing was me the first line. I was having a dick after. Because we didn't see it there. So we got, they got to the exam hall, and then the, the issue that came out was much information. And much information used to be found usually in the middle. So it was actually not the same thing that they expected. And it came out with a six. Painful, annoying, disturbing. But the truth is, if you fix yourself um, to a malfunctioning strategy, you get to the exam hall and you, you start sweating like whatever it is. Okay? So best bet is read everything. Read everything. It, it, it's, it's not possible like you're reading slowly. When, and when, when to, no, you read fast. It's scanning. You read very fast. You scan through. You, you look through the words. But you hold the words, you hold the content of the word in your heart as you are reading, so that you can be able to, you know, summarize it properly. It's a bit slower than scanning, but it's not normal reading. So you read through. Now, what happens is, as you are going through the paragraphs, you will find that you may have made mistake with some. All you have to do is just correct yourself. Don't don't read it. Just correct yourself, okay? And that's all. So. You keep, you keep on reading and you keep on trying to interpret the words there and align them with the, um, with the uh, list of words. It will take time. So it's better you give it time. Do it last, give it 10 minutes or so. And then sometimes you could be very lucky and the first line bears the keywords. In fact, you, you may even be seeing the, the word, some of the words verbatim of, your, of the first line that is being used in the question sometimes. So if now, if you now find that probably there was an example, and the example was like it was the first line, it's likely that every other thing will be in the first line. If you look at the example, and the example was that it was the third line that you picked the answer, everything will likely be in the third line too. But if there's no example for you, I advise you read them, read all the paragraphs, one by one, first paragraph, pick your answer, second paragraph, pick your answer, third paragraph, pick your answer, and you know. You, you you get through, but now I I I I, I as I was meditating during the day, it all just dropped in my mind. If it was true that yes to not given is tough, although it's, it's not tough, it's actually simple. But if it was true that it was tough, okay, devote time for it and and machine editing at least twenty minutes. All right. So the I mean, what you now do is this: once you get to your to your essay, you have allocated 30 minutes. Use 10. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Use 10. Okay. Use 10. So when you use 10, you save three in the bank. Because the next one, 15 minutes, 
all right, use 12. Now, what I doing is that you will not do um, matching headings at all, and you will not do yes, not given at all. Knowing that you're going to come back to it. You spend the 10 minutes on the passage and on the other kinds of questions that you have there. Then you move so that by, by the time you're through with that, maybe you end up using maybe 35 minutes. So you have like 25 minutes. So you now, you now do, I think you want to eat a bar in the night. You know, in, in, in the village, when they want to take a bar, and they just put that big a bar in the middle and then a four, like five fishes. Then they now sit around this. So you, that's how you now sit as if you want to eat a bar. And you face this one. So you take you, you take your time. You you strategically look at the the past paragraphs, summarize. You, you are not that pleasure. Then the five minutes more, you say, please add, excuse me, is it is it five or two? You know. So you take your time and deal with it. So um I advise that we learn to answer this simpler question, these other other questions faster. Mm -hmm. Learn to answer other questions faster, learn to um you know give give um less time to it give give respect to respect is due that's the issue matching agents in our respect it is our time give it time these other ones are just tender the same you know chin chin kind of stuff just use it no 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 they rush they not just want it a bar you know the way you sweat <laughs> all right so um I, I i i like us to um um Ask our questions. Now, there's a particular dangerous question they used to ask. That one is the toughest. People don't know. They think much is the toughest. Much is actually not the toughest. This one is a computer RP. They will add matching headings, classification, and multiple choice into one. Just say, just imagine this wicked question in the whole paragraph. You just say, what are the factors that can be identified in the old passage. <laughs> Responsible for this and that. They will now bring like 20 lists. <laughs> Pick out of the 20. That thing can make all this way. And the thing is that the, the options are scattered into the 20. I'm sure uh, I wonder, but some of us will have known when we're having a practice class and then we're sweating on that kind of question, really sweating. Because you don't even know which one is the answer, you know. And the answers here, the here are actually uh, in paraphrases. They have changed some of the words, so they are not exactly what's in the passage. You understand? That one is the same, same principle for matching that you use for it. Just read your paragraph very well. Pick the keyword, the, 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 the factor you saw. Come and look for which which one is which one looks like it here. Pam. You look at this, yeah. Next paragraph. You understand? Pick the one like that. So that is similar to class matching information too, but it's a bit more complex. Now, all this we need a bit more time than others. Don't um be frightened about that. Just devote time to the sim and to, to the tougher and give lesser time to the simpler. Hmm? Don't don't um, don't don't give respect to filling the gap. Once you see filling the gap, just pick the keyword, go to the mm -hmm. or whatever, answer your question, move. All right, so it's, that, it's that simple. So um, I, I like to have our thoughts, questions, and all. Uh, um, personally, reading is my delighted aspect. I I seem to. What well, I can teach it more than others because that's where I probably had all of my best, uh, my shining results. Um, so I feel that we can all have nine in reading if we like to. You know, so but it's just all about so. Amen. Okay, somebody said, can you throw more light on match information? Matching information is, is exactly similar to matching headings. Not, not no difference. Just Everything I say about matching headings is what I mean by matching information. So let me see. It's just the same. Okay. You, you will need to read. That's why I said if you don't know your weak points and you don't know your strong points, the reading will make just a few. That's the thing about reading. 
it, it, it will embarrass people that don't know the right from their left. You understand? You see, you can't handle within like you handle the corporation in primary school. No, it's not the same. No, it's not the same. You just say, oh, you just did the passage. You, you, you read the passage, the passage. What is the question? What is the no? That's not the, you will have known your, you will know how you want to deal with this. This one. You understand? Uh -huh. You look at the questions and now let me talk about match information. A match information similar to match headings. Go to the um skim the passage to have a general idea. Then go to the question, look at the options that are being given. Familiarize yourself with it. Look at the one, the words, the way they put it, and then if there's an example, study the way the examples were, was answered. If there's no example, so leave, let me leave it for them. Come to the passage. Now take each paragraph. Look at the keywords, the issues in the paragraph based on the keywords, I mean the, the, the list you have seen. And then summarize what you need to summarize there. If it's a matching, matching information and they're saying, okay, mention five factors. All right? Just don't bother yourself. Just look at the factors there and then look at the factors that they're they are looking for. Here. Okay, this one doesn't have any factor. Waste of time. What's the next paragraph? Okay, this one has factor. Yes, come. Okay, now, easy to trace. And this, is, this is the factor, number four. Okay, this one is number four. Then now go to the paragraph, next paragraph. Which one has it? Pick the factor. And sometimes they are saying you should complete an information there, or probably they are trying to tell you that which, which, of, the, which of the paragraphs has this information. Okay? So all you have to do is just pick the keyword. In that, in that situation, you pick the keywords in that, um, uh, um, because this one is actually asking you which of the paragraphs have this information. So it's more or less directing to an information that is straight. Pick the keywords in, the, in that information, then trace it around the paragraphs as you pick them one by one. Because you are trying to, if you are not able to have idea of the formations here, you might be having a blind, so a, a, a blind view. You, if you have not read the information first, before you come and be looking for it in the paragraph, by taking paragraph one after the other, you'll be wasting time. So look through the information. Okay, this, this one is talking about whatever. Okay. Just pick, sometimes you may not pick three or four informations in your mind. And then you look at the first paragraph, nothing like that. Okay. You will see one or two, and then you begin to trace them to each other. I'm tempted to say you should use the other pattern, that is tracing the keywords. But the problem is that they are not in order. They are not in order. They are not in order. And that's the problem. Because they are not in order, you will not be able to trace them one by one. Because if you do that, you sweat. So read through, just keep layers on, your, on the keyboard specifically, and then try to see how it suits any of the information you are seeing here, and then take them. Then to the next one. If the mention name are uh, that easy, just look for the one that has the name. Trace it to the to the answer. That's all. This one has the name. Trace to the answer. That's all. This one has the name. And like that. So um, it will involve some level of spontaneity and some flexibility, but you must maintain your strategy, you must have a plan. Don't just approach it the way it comes to you, be strategic about your approach. Okay, so um, I, 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 I think that the problem that's coming up here. They said, let me, let me read this question. Let's, let's go on. But now, I think we are about moving to where we can ask our questions, right? So that we can start training our questions and I will start answering them. And please note that you can ask, ask your question vocally. You can ask it verbally and, and I will answer you from here. Um, let me see this one. Just can you, okay. I read one of the materials that listeners are speaking that the same for academic and general. Is there a different approach for the other two modules as per general, academic and general? Well, you can apply the principles of reading in, in academic general. Yes, you can. All right. But I will advise strongly that you find, use general materials to practice for general. 
do not use academic materials for your practice if you are going to general. And do not use the materials for your practice if you are going to use academics. That's my wisdom. Try to use the appropriate materials that you will cover. You may use the same the approach that I'm trying to share now. You can apply it. How can a candidate know the grade score from one to nine? From the question, what I mean is if I score 30 over 40, is it seven? Okay, thank you. Now, um, for, for, the, for academic, okay, your 6.5 is 28 and 29. Several starts from 30, I think 32 or 33, then eight, Nine. Nine is 40 over 40. The point five is maybe it, um, 39, 38, like that. So, but once, if you can get 30 in academic, you're already a several candidates. Just grow it. But for general, I'm told it's a bit higher. I think, I think seven is 30, 34 or 30, I think 32 or 34. So it's a bit higher in, in, in general. And actually, I've seen general questions that are so simple. <laughs> They are really simple, but I want to beg you, practice before you go, if you are doing general. Don't say it's simple, just drop the exam. Practice before you go. That would be a major wisdom, please. Okay. And um, if you can breathe, if... Sorry? You said what? Sorry, it's like I'm, I'm hearing someone asking a question, I'm sorry. Is there, is there anyone asking a question, please? Okay, the test, the assignment I gave was not on, on was not from Cambridge. I gave assignment from Road to White. That was reading Road to White. And I wanted us to just test because Road to White seems to be a bit more simpler than Cambridge. Um, uh, and we may just ask that one for this week, then we move to Cambridge using next week. I mean, the uh, exercises for Cam from Cambridge using next week. Okay, the general between general and academic is that I think general is more or less um, having some, some little variations. The reading is also the same number, 40, 40 questions, three passages, but they are, the reading passages are, 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 are not formatted the same way. They are a bit simpler. And then in, 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 in the writing to write that one, you write a letter instead of drawing um, charts and all that. That's the difference. IDC, IDP, and BC is the same thing. No, don't have my CV is the same thing exactly. Same thing from A to Z, IDP and PC. They are the same. Okay, so um, can we have questions on, re on reading tonight? Uh, if you are confident on anything, please feel free. Um, let me let me let me get your questions um from um the what we've done tonight. We will focus on um what now. No, yes. Yes, no, the yes, and, and matching editing or matching information. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah, I generally very simple. It's quite simple. So let's have questions. You have clarifications, you have thoughts you want to share. Maybe you have found a better method. Can you just tell us so we can all adapt to it uh, all together? Please, let's be free. You can ask your questions and um, uh, freely, and uh, we will listen to you. I'm waiting for us, so. and I hope we enjoyed the night's lecture. We enjoyed this and assignment. <laughs> we want to give assignments, we, have we? We try. We try our hands or something. You said? I think it's good if we try one answer. You, you just have to. As a matter of fact, your assignment is your strategy for, uh, uh, you know, uh, knowing whether you are getting better or not. Okay? If, if, you, if you don't do your assignment, you will not know whether you are going to be getting better or not. Okay. Let me ask you. Uh, I did one of the tests. Uh, uh, the answer is 28th November, so I put it. But then on the answer sheet, there's no 28. Like they didn't put add TH to the 28. And I mark myself wrongly. 
They yes, say, I saw some people putting 28 and that is correct. So I don't really understand. Okay, don't worry. Just flow with the answers that you see. Once you see the answers and it's not what you are seeing, know that in the subsequent test, if they have the same question, answer that same way that you saw in the answer. You understand? Okay. Mm. Right. Now, somebody said, this is my this is my first time applying for IT general, academic for students and general for students. I was okay. I will talk about this after now. I, I like to answer questions on um, reading first so that we can clarify. But I'm going to answer this before we leave. Just remind me. So somebody said, in somebody said I'm a bit confused between false and not given. Very normal. But know that in false, what you are arguing for is in the passage. In not given, what you are arguing for is not in the passage. That's all. So once you know that one, what I'm looking for something that's not in the passage. That's not given. In mm -hmm. false, what I'm looking for is in the passage. It's actually in the passage. But the issue is just that it is not in, it is the contradictory form of that stuff that is being spoken about in the question. Okay. Now someone said, in if you just said yes to not given, our uh, one mistakenly writes false to not given. Is there a penalty? There is big penalty. The answer you actually missed it. You know. As somebody was also doing that, that was really she failed that it's, that. The answer is not right. You don't have to write no or yes. You're writing false and and true and true and sincere. Yeah, what would it be written in the instruction? Eh? Yeah, I think what you're meant to write, what would it be written in the instruction? instruction now. Sometimes we want to just say the same thing now, you know. When I do I just like to assume sometimes. <laughs> okay. So we can just say, uh, she uses the same thing. Now, what's the difference? Yeah, I want to and you know. So what about matching names? <laughs> matching you, names? Want you said? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Matching names and matching from is similar to each other. It's, it's just about the fact that what you are told to match is names. Yeah. In the other one, what you're to match is information. So it's a matter of just picking, I mean, picking the names in the passage and linking them with the question. That's all. Okay, so I, I, it's like people are not really having questions tonight, except for all the general because questions have been similar, they are similar, similar. Okay, I'll go have a assignment. You see it on, on Telegram, it's put on Telegram tonight after the class. So people are asking similar questions. I guess we understood tonight's meeting over, oh, at, at, I mean, today, we, we, we really enjoyed it. Uh, please, if, can if I have not... one more question? Okay, please ask. Um, uh, not really a question. Hello, Mr. Sim. Yeah, please. Please, oh, I, I let's know your name so that I can, at least I can know you're speaking to me. Okay, can I go on? Or she she's speaking to you now? Yeah, I think you can go on. Oh, oh, okay. hello, uh, Mr. Sim. Um, this is uh, Moussas. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, um, you you attend from my amata at um, Arrow. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Good. 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 Well, um, you've really done well today. The, the advice I, I, what I just really want to say is just um, a little bit of advice. For those that will be doing IELTS for the first time, you know, you just need to practice very well, especially for the reading sake, you know. I've um, tried out a couple of times, and what I can say is the more you practice, the more conversant you get with it, you know. Yeah. And for those yes, no, not given, false, true, not given, I, I, I feel you should just answer it at the last part. Maybe you finish answering everything. Because by that, you'll be very familiar with the passage. So once you don't see the questions, you know what to rule out. You understand? The keywords, the noun, the verbs, are fine. But you see this with us, so, they are so corny. You can find a lot of, like maybe two or three keywords at the same time. So but when you are very familiar with the question, you know, answering yes, no, not even true. Force at the 
tilt and maybe you're finished your lexing, matching heading, you're filling the gaps, you understand. I think it will be very easy. It will be very easy to do. So that's just my suggestion. Yeah, let's see. Hello? 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 Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, I just realized that it seems they are meeting. Good evening, sir. I realized that it seems they are meeting. Yeah, so um, I think possibly he might come back and take a few more questions. Uh, there's, there's something I just want to suggest. Um, in the course of the subsequent classes, um, if you want to say something, it would be nice for you to introduce yourself and tell us your location, um, and then have your video on so that people can see when you're talking. When you're done talking, you can turn off your video, but at least when you're talking, let people see your video. Um, so at least they know who they're, they're speaking with. Um, I want to say well done to everyone, your dedication, uh, you. towards learning. Um, I want to say a big thank you to, to Mr. Steve as well, because he's had a very, very big day today, very busy day, but he still pushed himself to get here and still get the job done and uh, share the knowledge. So um, I hope he comes back. If he doesn't, it's 10 o'clock already. Uh, he normally takes the class to probably quarter past, half past. Um, I'll just try and check with him. He, See what's going on if you'll be able to come back on. But if not, this might be the end of the class for today. Um, I just want to say, uh, just um, tweet, tweet about it uh, on social media, share the message, share the opportunity with friends um, who might who might benefit from it. Um, and I want to say, please practice, practice, practice. I would, you need to practice a lot. It's not like every other English test. Uh, all, the, all the techniques he's showing you um, are, are good approaches. Try and research a lot more, learn from other people, um, and, and be prayerful. Because at the end of the day, uh, God, God, God is, the, is the one who, who helps us through all, all situations. So yeah, I'll try and see if I can get him back on. And if, if not, we might just say our goodbyes, but just give me a second. I'll, I'll turn my camera off and I'll try and ring him and see if I can reach him. Okay.
So I think his battery, his phone just had a problem. He's, he's joining back in a minute. I've been able to reach him. So please bear with us. He'll be, he'll be joining us in a minute, Mr. Steve. Thanks. I'm sorry, I, I, my phone stripped off. I don't know what happened, but I'm back. Um, thank you, Mr. Osas. I think I, I, the last thing I had you say was trying to advise on the need to practice, which I think is a, 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 a beautiful piece of advice. That I think is, is the best advice you can have tonight and for all the other modules. If you don't practice, it's, it's as good as you're wasting your time. Because some people, um, they don't even have instructions that you are having now, and they are trying to practice just randomly. And some of them are just able to just find a way around the whole practice and just, you know, strong, smuggle through and past, you know. So why some had all the lectures, but they didn't put it into practice, and then nothing changed. So I will advise strongly, practice, practice, practice and that's why we are giving all the assignments so that at least you can you will not be able to, you won't say i don't know what to practice i don't know what to practice i don't know I, there's no bacteria and all that i'm intentionally putting the audios for the audio for the listening and i'm sending in the exact materials to practice for the reading so so that you can just go straight and practice you will not say i have too many things to do and then you can just get to practice because even in practicing one thing more thing is you find your own trick, what works for you. You find it better. For some people, it may be exactly the opposite that works for other people that works for you. And it will work for you perfectly. So it's good that you just get to practice so you can get to know what works for you. Now, somebody um, is saying um, uh, they want to know the difference between general or an academic. Okay. Um, well, there are some clients that take general IELTS. Some clients take academic IELTS. So I can't say academics are for, are for professionals. Why general are for, are for non-professionals? No. You know, for example, I know Canada takes general IELTS. Why maybe UK, US, Australia takes academic. So I don't want us to have the feeling that probably it's, a, a, it's a probably for people that probably don't want to do stuff. The truth is writing tax too is a hell of work and um, you may not just find it as easy as um, you will not, not find every other stuff too. And so, and they all have their principles. So in, in general, listening, Listening, writing tax two, and speaking is exactly the same. Listening, writing tax two, and speaking is exactly the same. While the tax one of writing and reading are not the same. So the only difference between general and academic now is tax one of writing and um, reading. And it's not, it's not like they will not, you will not have passages in reading. But the passages in, in, in general are simpler. They are, they are, they are less in volume. And um, sometimes they are easily, more easy to understand than right reading for academic. That's just it. So, and that's the difference. I don't know what is probably, what, if there's anything that probably you, you, may want, you may want to know. Apart from that, please maybe you let me know later. Um, uh, so I, I want to see the other questions I've not asked, but, but please, you can't, you, it, Sorry, can please, yeah, and again, if you want to ask your question. IELTS academics, please. Uh, with recruiting to the UK, I know more about the UK, I don't know about Canada, about any other, okay. I know about recruiting to the UK. Uh, for nurses, IELTS academic is what academic. It used to be UKVI academics, but you don't need that yeah. anymore. Um, you can do IELTS academics or OET. Um, IELTS general would not work for, for nurses yeah. here because yeah. that's not what the NMC wants. Yeah. So um, if you're looking to come into the UK, you'll need the IELTS academic academics. or OET. Okay. So do we publish the other that I want to ask the question? 
I say thank you for this info about the one for nurses. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Okay, so do we as though we are ending of the class tonight? Um, since there are no more questions, I'll be posting the assignments on the Telegram page for everyone. And um, don't forget, you submit on the page. Very soon, we are going to start read. Uh, we're going to be starting writing by by next week Monday. Tomorrow, yes, week. we are going to be having some practice tests. Um, okay. I, I will be sending in some. Um, I mean, some of the drafts to us tonight. So, if you can print them, that'd be better. So, we'll just try out our answer on um, some of the types of questions, and then we we'll see how you how you answer in practical situation. And um, uh, we ask our questions and all that. So, we we'll see how that goes tomorrow. Okay. So, thank you very much. If there are no more questions, I think we can just um, call today. I said Mr. Bella wants to see any, anything. No, no, I haven't got anything more to say. I'll just say, man, you're, you're doing a great job. Thank you Thank so you. much for, for sharing your knowledge. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much, Dad. Bye. Thank you, everyone. And I, yeah. think, um, I want to say good night. Yeah, good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night, sir. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Steven. Good night. God bless you Thank guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Where can I leave?